well, watching my uh, buddy's video about why he wants to travel to Japan. that he would eventually maybe possibly want to move outside of the UK to maybe let's say uh, um, Australia or somewhere like that because he wants to deal with uh, better weather where it's sunny all the time it's nicer the only difference between living in England and Australia is when it's winter in the rest of the world Australia it's summertime so what he was basically saying is <clears throat> traveling for me is really important it changes things up meaning when you go out and see different things and different cultures and different cities towns whatever you get you get to experience like that little culture and that little town compared to what you're used to and i always love to travel and that's what i'm doing right now i'm going to cedar keys florida which is an island chain off of the uh, coast of florida in the uh, Gulf of Mexico and my buddy's like hey you want to come out and uh, go to Cedar Keys I'm like yeah and I looked it up Cedar Keys is an island chain with a population of like 600 people and they say it's the old school of Florida basically it's the old style of Florida and it's only 600 people that live there and it's a very small place so I'm going to take you guys there today you gotta take off that's it <laughs> hey. Still not a lot of speed. <laughs> Let's see if I can get more speed this way. All right, there you go. <laughs> That's and Cedar Keys is a retirement community, and most of the homes here are a million dollars because you're buying a home on the coast. So. This place is known for getting hit with hurricanes. It's very beautiful. It has that real small town kind of feel to it. Like no other place I've been to in Florida. But would I be back? I don't know, man. It's it's cool, but I'm not into the whole fishing vibe. And that's what this place is. It's basically a fishing community. So, that trip to uh, Cedar Keys was amazing. It was really unique compared to any other place that I've ever seen in Florida. Like I said, it has that like island vibe to it. And it's not like a traditional Jacksonville, Orlando type of vibe. It really is like an island. Like, like I read about it, it said, oh, it's an island chain off the coast of uh, Florida and it's in the gulf of uh, mexico i was like okay cool but when you get there it has that real bahama vibe going to it. like old buildings buildings on top of water and uh whatnot and most people drive uh, scooters or they drive uh, golf carts around that's all they drive in that area which was i thought uh, a very unique way of getting around my car felt humongous driving through those streets I didn't see really too many trucks, SUVs, or anything. It was just like golf carts and like Vespa scooters, which I was like, the Vespa scooters are badass. I would, I would drive those any day of the week. But if you guys are wondering what happened here, I was at the gym and uh, got my hand a little bit uh, jacked up when I was in the gym because someone didn't put their weights back. Ford Fusion, hurry up. And I'm getting tailgated by a... Um, I really love that tailgating life, buddy. If I put my brakes on, you'd ram right into the back of me. I really love the tailgating life. This is not a racetrack. It definitely is not. I love how these people are really dumb. Oh, now you're going to slow down so I can't pass you. What a D-bag. But if you guys are wondering what Cedar Keys is all about, you can check out my other video where um, I, you can actually see me going to Cedar Keys, hanging out with my buddy, and just uh, hanging out. But I, I definitely enjoy going out and seeing unique places, you know. I never thought about going to Cedar Keys, Florida. My buddy hit me up. He's like, would you want to go there? Because I asked him if he wanted to hang out. And he goes, how about we hit up Cedar Keys? I was like, yeah, that would, that would be pretty awesome to go see Cedar Keys. Because uh, for me, I'm always about seeing unique uh, places and uh, unique uh, things. So seeing that place 
definitely reminded me of going and seeing, like, the Bahamas. So, uh, you, you know me, I'm a guy who gets bored and gets uh, stagnant. I hate getting bored and stagnant, staying in the same place for a very long time. Even if it's a day trip there, a day trip back, or, or, or like a weekend trip, it's a lot more fun and exciting than just staying in the same place, doing the same thing all the time. That's why I don't mind the last couple of weeks uh, traveling as much as I have and road tripping as much as I have. I mean, I'm putting on a lot of miles on my car, but I don't really mind going out of my way to travel somewhere. But anywhere I travel next to, I want to actually spend more than just 24 hours there or more than just a couple hours there. I want to spend at least 24 hours to get a hotel room, spend the night, actually eat there, grub there, hang out, see what the locals do and see that kind of vibe. That's what I want to do. And I think what I'm going to do next for our trip is going to go to Atlanta and see what uh, Atlanta has to offer. But everybody knows the main reason why I travel is because I get very bored staying in the same place all the time. So I have to experience something sometimes like traveling getting out of my comfort zone, doing an activity that I don't normally do on a regular basis. It's because it gives me the freedom to experience, like, I guess you would say, a little bit of a different culture. And going to Cedar Keys, Florida, like I said, it's not like any other place I've been in Florida. And it gives me the opportunity to experience what these local people do. And the first time ever, eating gator bites for the very first time. I never thought I'd have alligator and i seen it on the menu and i was like you know i'm never gonna probably be back to see the keys ever in my life so why not try some gator bites and me and my buddy tried it and i asked the lady that was our waiter and i said excuse me are gator bites any good and she looked at me and she goes yeah they're good i'm like well what do they taste like she goes in between chicken and duck and i'm like really chicken everybody says everything tastes like chicken and she goes, no, 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 no. I'm real. I'm realistically telling you they taste like chicken. And when I tried them, I was like, damn, son. They were flavorful as heck. They were delicious. And they gave us like this tartar sauce that had like a uh, kind of a spice to it. That was bomb. So it came to like uh, $12.99 for the Gator Bites. But damn, son, those gator bites were delicious. I want to get some right now. They're that good. But uh, this is my trip to Cedar Keys. If you guys want to click the first link in the description box, you take to my uh, full vlog where you can see me at Cedar Keys doing the things that we did in Cedar Keys with me and my buddy uh, Nick. So as always, remember to smash that like button. Hit the subscribe button. I'm Trevor, and this has been another video. And thanks for stopping by and enjoying the ride. I'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching.